at the director, Scotty McNabb. Picking my ear at the time. Scratching <laughs> my ear, but it looked like I was picking my ear. Yeah. And I can do the other side if you like to balance, you know, a good bunch way. Excellent, ear. excellent. And live stream videographer, Kimberly McCoy. <laughs> and cameraman, if you want to say hi. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Sam. <laughs> All right. Um, anything you want to say about the plan today, director? Um, I think that uh, we're going to have fun, and it's going to be interesting for everyone involved. And as far as the plan goes, treat yourself like a professional, and people will treat you like a professional. So. Yeah. Nice. nice. Uh, Kimberly, anything to say about today's plan? Uh, give 110%. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go see us. <laughs> All right. Sam, anything you want to add? I've got nothing. You got nothing? Okay. I've got nothing. I can't. Any reason to day, delay any longer? Um, we're gonna go up on Facebook Live. We good? Everyone good? Yeah, we good. <laughs> woohoo! Let's hear a woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, all right. I'm not gonna put a name on it. We'll just go live. Hello. Hello. This is Matt Reddy, host of the Mindful Activist Podcast. This is episode, I don't know, nine, I think. Um, and I am a activist and I am uh, the founder of the Global Consensus Project, the uh, developer of the hive1.net plat uh, activist social media platform, and I'm an elected uh, politician, a hospital commissioner in Jefferson County, Washington, USA. Uh, that's a, it's a board of five elected commissioners on over a county of a or an area of about 30,000 people in rural Washington. Okay, so here we are, another ordinary show, ordinary day. Um, so, uh, let's see. Why don't we talk to our, uh, to our director? Because we actually have a director today, it's not me. Um, so, if a director would like to come and take a seat on stage center... <laughs> and Scotty is here. This is Scotty McNabb. He is our director. So, um, halfway on. Here You ready? Yeah. Camera person. I have to have cameras for me to be a director. There you go. Okay. So do whatever you need. Your, your whatever you want to do with that. Please. And you take. You can rearrange. Go wherever you want to go with that camera. Um, Ramon joined. Thank you, Ramon. So feel free to yell out who joins or who say anything. Okay, so here we are. Should it be on the other side? Why? I don't know. Last time I was <laughs> uh, No, well, we'll just go with the flow. You know what we haven't done? We haven't turned on the Zoom video conferencing mm. platform, but you know what? Mm. I think we got enough going on. Yeah, I'd say I think we got enough going on. And so, but next time we'll make sure we have the Zoom uh, video conferencing platform on, so that. Um, do you want to describe what it does? Do you want to uh, I remember some parts of it. I don't want to do it wrong. Okay. So, so it's Zoom. You. Yeah. Well, it's how your brother connected last time. That's true. Right. Yeah. He. It's a. If we have a Zoom live meeting going, then. Uh, 50 up to 50 people can jump in and be uh, video conferencing with us right here on this back screen and that's pretty cool so far like three people have dropped in and joined us it's been it's Yaron says the kids say hi my who, oh Yaron does yeah. hey kids of Yaron <laughs> David Crozier just joined David nice to see you feel free to ask questions out there. Um, this is actually going to be a kind of interesting show, I think, today. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know, do we go over the plan for the show? Um, what do we, yeah, what do we maybe do? we could do like a, a small game plan. Small what game plan. Do you, what do you think? Um, well, what the heck is a game plan? I mean, I like, it's like lots of different game plans. Have a good day. That was, hmm. that was my plan. I woke up today and said, ah, try to have a good day. What about you? <laughs> I I woke up having a good dream, and then I thought, I hope my day is better than my dream. 
and it's hard to do, mm. you know. Uh, Not a good dream. It's hard to top a good dream. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. So today's been today's been nice. I get to drive away from a city that's ugly to um, Port Townsend, Washington, which was a really nice thing. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good day. Yeah. <sighs> what should we talk about? Well. Um, we're gonna we're gonna move this whole team that we have behind the cameras uh, to the hospital later. Um, you're gonna be taking part in a ceremony. It's a ribbon cutting mm -hmm. for a brand new building or a brand new facility at the Jefferson General. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, it took a lot of I'm sure deals and power struggles to get that building even agreed upon, much less built. It, it did indeed, and I only uh, was a witness to some of them, mm -hmm. some uh, fairly minor mm -hmm. ones. But yeah, you don't build a twenty-eight million dollar facility without. I mean, that's power. That's, that's exercising power. That is exercising power, yeah. and to see it to fruition like that. Um, how long has it taken to build this? You know, uh, I, I believe we're saying it's been like a five year. You know, from the first uh, mm -hmm. conversations we started. Okay. Um, but the actual construction was much shorter than that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's, always, it's a little different usually than normal where a lot of contracting goes long. But um, So what do you think about uh, the power that it takes to, to make something like this for a community? Well, I mean, it's, you know, in a way it is showing, it is demonstrating how a community can exercise its power, you know, to use its wealth that it has access to in some way to build a monument, you know, and this is, um, it doesn't really matter whether it's a county, city, hospital, or it doesn't really matter, even if it's like a, a local nonprofit raising money to build something, it's, it's people saying, in some way, somehow they're using that mechanism of collective energy to say, we want to build this, mm -hmm. and it's built. What happens though, you know, of course, is when you do anything, there's um, people, you know, whether you're building a school or a hospital or whatever, there's people involved in it are often doing the, you know, sure. power struggling. Like, sure. I think it should be this way or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and so that happens. And then, or there's massive opposition to something. I mean, there's all sorts of, it's modern battles of power when you're building any sort of monument. Right, right. Yeah. Have you have you heard about or read about anything that uh, where people are on the opposite side saying, "Hey, we don't need to spend our money this way," or perhaps uh, on this very location, it's a problem because of this or that. Is oh yeah, it cause there's, there's traffic always or parking or. Yeah, there definitely has been opposition. There's been public comment at our board meetings that okay. were opposed to it. Um, but I think, from my perspective. Um, a pretty good, pretty strong, sensible majority. Um, I well, I'm sensing that the majority of people are in favor of it, but um, I might be wrong about that. I don't. I guess I don't really have a, a great um, a line of sight on that information. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah. Hmm. When when you look out from your your spot, sitting at uh, one of the head tables or around the around the around the uh, spot where they're going to actually bring out those enormous scissors, right? No, no, no it's not no, enormous it's scissors. Not enormous it's scissors. 12 pairs of scissors oh, with goldish oh, oh. handles. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I am going to be one of the 12 people that will be... Scissoring? Scissoring. Simultaneous <laughs> scissoring on this giant ribbon. That's a joke. <laughs> I don't understand what you said, and I have no <laughs> idea what job. it you means. Did a great job. Um, and so... Um, so, uh, but, but, you know, I have been thinking about this ribbon cutting. Okay. And, you know, there's a reason there's 12 scissors. It's because it's symbolic. Who cuts the ribbon first? You know, right. and, Absolutely. and so, uh, when I get up there and we're all lined up, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to cut it really fast and I'm going to be like, woo. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's a great plan. I mean, I, I, we might have. Yeah, no, I won't really do that. But it would be an interesting scene to see. Yeah. yeah. Um, but when you, because I imagine there's going to be some folks sitting in a in a seating area to watch the 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 ceremony. 
um, not only those folks that are going to be uh, using their scissors, but um, when you look out at those folks that are there in attendance, what does it mean to you to be in a position of power to, to be one of the 12? It is totally surreal. It is really, really surreal. Uh, <laughs> for real? Real. For real. It's surreal. Um, you know, really? <laughs> really. Um, um, okay. Because I'm going to be there, particularly, it's particularly powerful to me because there's going to be a state legislator, mm -hmm. um, Steve Theringer, uh cutting the ribbon, who I have a lot of respect for, but he's, a, he's at a state legislative uh, level. And I assume, and then uh, Derek Kilmer, who is a U.S. congressman, who is our, in our area, he is our um, gateway to the federal government, to federal power. I mean, mm -hmm. if you care about something at the federal level, you're, um, the weakest representative we have at the federal level that will care about what people in this county say is Derek Kilmer because he is a congressman for a small district. It's, it's about as small as it gets at the federal level. Mm -hmm. um, now, anyone else at the federal level that, anyways, that was kind of a tangent. But I'm gonna be, yes, I'm gonna be standing there with people with real power, with connections to real power. I mean, you're talking fate and state and federal level. That's real power over real police force, military, violence, that's, that's power. And so for me to be up there symbolically cutting a ribbon with them, and I guess I should say, I think I'm one of the 12 cutting the ribbon. There's a chance we're going to get there. And they're going to be like, sorry, Matt. Yeah. No, we have 12 other people. You didn't I, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think I'm cutting the ribbon. Okay. <laughs> cool. We have to have a comment from Ramon. Yes, Ramon. said, I can't say I know a lot, but an improved hospital facility sounds like a good thing. Wow, look at Ramon. Ramon, yeah. former hospital employee. Ramon Daly. Uh, Daly Computer Consulting. They are one of our sponsors. Not really. But they let, us, they let us do a show at one cool. of the, at his, his spot. Hmm. Old friend of mine, Ramon Daly. And so we have two of my oldest friends, if Yaron's still there. Ramon and Yaron. Uh, you have to sort of have a name with two syllables and an R ah. to be like a really good mm. friend of mine. Yaron, Ramon. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, we'll keep it business. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's, uh, what time is it? Is it? Uh, is that quarter quarter till? Till? Almost quarter till. So I'm going to need to run to the... Um, to the ceremony, and uh, you're the director of this crew, so you're gonna do what uh, okay. what you want to do to cover that event, however you see fit. It's, a, okay. it's an important event, so um, might be an interesting symbolic event to, to witness. So mm -hmm. I'm excited that my friends and supporters of the Mindful Activist podcast are gonna help, you know, do a little coverage of it. So That's cool. It should be interesting. And thanks for inviting us. So we'll transition here as you take off. Transition. <laughs> All right. Alright. And there he goes. <laughs> he can still hear us. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start breaking down a little bit, um, but I think we're going to keep the cameras rolling as we travel. Whoever's got one, if you can, if you can, if you cannot and it's a, it's a hazard, then go ahead and turn it off. Um, but if you can and, and um, just keep it rolling. We'll get some B-roll that way. It's interesting. And that's the fake phone call we've been waiting for. I'm just kidding. I don't know whose phone that is. But we can sign off for now and then start it back up our, um, once we get into the vehicles because there's going to be a lot of bumping around. So, Okay? All right. Um, yeah, we'll start. I'm live also. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I'm digging that bolo. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's see if it, yeah, we got it. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Continuous live stream thing is kind of. Yeah. It's interesting. It is. So, yeah, you're going to have to like. Oh. <laughs> 
It's at the art center, I think. There's a club meeting. There's a community meeting. Oh, yeah. Chase and I both need So we're off. Let's hope this doesn't become one of those great YouTube videos of a car accident live <laughs> stream. You know? Yeah, really. <sighs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling remarkably good for such a crazy day. Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm great. Yeah. This is good stuff. This is totally reminding me of work I used to do with Ramon. Um, we did a lot of guerrilla filmmaking when I was uh, like 15 years ago. Okay. And, uh, Ramon Daly still, still making movies and stuff. And you're in film school? I am going to school right now through Full Sail, but we haven't started the film portion yet. I'm getting getting all the prereqs done. Yeah. Let's see. We can check see if they have. You can always check see if they have questions. But I'm going to stop directing. It's so hard. I'm letting go. I'm, I'm not <laughs> it's a good, directing. Good idea. I'll take that. I am direction. Uh, oh, I think the remote closer, just went. Jordan? said, uh, Matt, what's the meaning of life? That is the second time I've been asked that on a video interview. It's a movie, actually, and um, it's <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> meaning of life. I think, uh, you know, the meaning of life is the whatever purpose you choose. And uh, for me, the purpose is individual, um, individually to thrive and then to help the my neighbors, which is everyone on earth, thrive. Um, and uh, those are the two things I think about. What about you, Scotty? What do you think the meaning of life is? Um, being funny and, <laughs> and um, enjoying myself. No, I, I, think, I think the meaning of life is probably accurately love and be loved you know to me that's that's the answer at least to make life meaningful love, love and be loved yeah I like that that would work I mean you know if someone had to etch into stone really quick meaning of life love and be loved that could, that would be, uh, good it would work for ages I mean, it's really what all of us want, you know, is to be loved, and, um, and ultimately, and those things that, that, as far as being successful and all, all of those things that we all go for, ultimately, if you're not loved, you don't feel loved, then you feel empty, and the best way to feel loved is to love other people, because it comes back to you. But if you're really lonely, I mean, see, I sort of, the, the other piece of that is that you also need to feel a safety and security alone so because of yeah, loving yourself true. and because of valuing yourself. Because you have to be, that's the only way you ever feel comfortable uh, standing alone when you need to stand alone. That's very true. Yeah, yeah that's, that is a very important lesson that sometimes comes after being in relationships. Sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> but yeah. that that time by yourself where you gain strength and and learn to love yourself, I think that's hugely important. And the sooner you can learn to love yourself, the better you can love others. I believe. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's more true and honest. You sort of think about, you know, when you if you've ever tried to help someone, you know, who's been personally struggling with something it's an addiction or just some bad habit or bad relationship or bad relationship habit or an addiction to a relationship, yeah. any combination yeah. of those things. Um, 
it's just it's so it becomes so obvious it is so hard to to help another person overcome an obstacle sure it's you know it's like yeah, but the person you can help overcome an obstacle an inner obstacle is you true you know it's like it's like we like spend this time like trying to help other people but it's like uh, start with yourself and realize I mean you have the right to, to scream at yourself and to get yourself to like do whatever needs to be done to make your world the way the world should be that was a nice philosophical tangent <laughs> I like it Castle's really haunted. I do. <laughs> the world is haunted. What time is it? Am I late yet? I seem to have left my phone. Oh, really? Um, another question, Matt. There it is. Uh, down what there. does thrive mean to you? Also from Iran. From Iran? Yes. Thrive. Happiness. Um, you know, so if you look at a tree, like an apple tree, mm -hmm. and you say, is the apple tree have its branches spread and leaves look healthy and it's bearing fruit? That's a healthy apple tree and you can pretty much look at human beings and you can just tell by just like looking at an apple tree you can tell if it's thriving you can tell if the human being is thriving mm -hmm. you can tell are they smiling do they have joy in their life and in their heart and are they learning and is their life a celebration or is it a struggle and or is it both? Or is it both? <laughs> yeah, and are they taking care of themselves? Are they winning the battles they need to, with themselves, with their own demons and challenges? All right, well, I gotta, I gotta like move fast. All right, then take it easy. Lock up this really valuable yeah. card. <laughs> yeah. Right, exactly. This Take care. Oh, he's tying his shoes too. Let's yeah, see the shoe tying station. Yeah. That's it. That's a spot right there. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. So we've been working on this project since 2011, and I want to make sure I recognize all of the commissioners who have worked to make this happen. Matt Reddy, Matt Reddy, Matt Reddy.
<laughs> Whatever. Um, I don't know. Oh, we could go. Actually, we could go back on the live stream. Should we do a wrap up, or should we? Uh, we should do a wrap up because we lost. It. Yeah, nice. nice strawberry. <laughs> yeah. selection of your location. Well, <laughs> director. We got the shop. That's all that Yeah, nice job. So, okay, uh, so uh, that's uh, kind of, that might be kind of the end of this episode of my vlog list. You know, okay. I don't know. If you want to well, I mean, anything. yeah. What, what was your experience up there? How did you How did you feel? Uh, it's weird. It is weird. In, uh, with powerful people, it's weird. Um, but you know, you also feel like you feel your allyship with you know a lot of what was said really resonates with me. Um, Did you feel like um, the face this way though? Yeah, because the lighting is not. The lighting is bad, and also here, come around. So you said that it was kind of very bad up there. But what, what was it? Did you? What was your takeaway from? When, when most of the people were talking about how this was the team, and this is for the community, and you know, that kind of thing. How, what's your buy-in on that as far as uh, getting this done? Well, you know, a lot of people have told me over the years that everyone, um, I mean, most people really are trying to do the right thing. Yeah. They're really trying, everyone, uh, so even though there's a lot of power struggles that go into a project like this, a lot of disagreement, and um, a lot of bumps and bruises along the way. You know, in those halls of power, I mean, the 12, 10 people up there that were cutting on the scissors, we all were like involved in, you know, right. some interesting moments of power struggle. But for the most part, I think at this level, everyone is really like, um, everyone is trying to, you know, make this world a better place. And so this was, um, in the end, the combination of all our different visions and values, I think, did make something really good for our community. Um, and so, so yeah, I mean, I basically feel good about it. I, in general, though, I feel like I don't like speeches like that. I just like, it just takes a long time. I don't really like that as a format for communicating with people. I like a conversation, um, unless someone really works at their speech. I mean, if they can really like entertain us you know like Scotty McNabb level stand-up comedy you know if you were doing that speech you'd be like you'd have people rolling and that would be you know. yeah I don't know I might get a couple laughs at my own expense <laughs> <laughs> just like that yeah um, but but more importantly um, what would you suggest instead of this format because this this is one of those things where it's been the same format over and over and over where we have to have a ribbon cutting, we have to have grand opening, that kind of thing. What what do you think gets to I think we should the build a bit, I think you and I should build like some sort of facility and do it and design our <laughs> own maybe a mindful activist studio. Right. right we only right. build a studio yeah. and you can also do your documentary work in there. You can combine <laughs> podcast, filmmaking studio, and then we'll do a ribbon cutting and we'll design it the way we think. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do. There'll be dancing and music, okay. and there'll be field games and <laughs> ice cream. You're done, right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you're done. This is done. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> that's that's if, if we do. <laughs> because I'm all about the dancing. You know, I have the calves for it. Scottish, <laughs> you know. So. Really? Let's do some dancing because usually we have dancing in our episodes. That's true, we do. Yeah. yeah, so, okay, we're going to roll the closing right. music. Right. And right. this has been an episode of The Mindful Activist. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Any questions from the live stream? Anyone out there?